herself the most powerful woman in America just last night, and tonight she will be the center of a very hotsy totsy thousand dollar a plate party. Add that to the bragging that Charlie Rangel's been doing about his new digs on Capitol Hill. And my next guest says Democrats are really botching it, at least on the image front. Joining us now to explain is Jackson Bain, communication consultant with Bain and Associates. Um, what's so bad about doing a little bragging? Well, nothing really. But uh, I, Neil, you know this. If you hang around Washington long enough, you, you see a lot of these transitions of power. Some are handled well, some not so well. It's too early to tell whether this is not going to be handled very well, but, but right now the signs aren't very good, in my opinion. What's uh, troubling Nan you most? Nancy Pelosi's four-day celebration is probably the wrong sign to send out to voters who sent her here uh, to change the way things are done. Uh, remember that most of the voters, uh, uh, the top topic was ethics. Uh, above Iraq and above Afghanistan, ethics was the big reason they made the changes they did on Election Day on November 7th. Because of that, she needs to be very, very cautious about how, what kind of ceremonies and, and fripperies, if you will, that she puts into her inauguration. We're all very, very pleased that a woman is holding that gavel right now. But I think she needs to be cautious about what image she leaves with such uh, large and uh, perhaps expensive celebrations. Um, do you think that uh, a lot of times he said he was joking, but that the message to the American people was you're more impressed with your office than what you're going to do with it? Well, American voters are some of the smartest people I know. I mean, we never underestimate the power and the smartness of American voters. They can see right through all kinds of things. And, and while he may have been bragging, Neil, I think that the, the problem right now is saying anything like that. You just need to watch what you say, watch what you do, while you are being judged so carefully by those who sent you to the Hill. All right, now let's talk a little bit about uh, William Jefferson, the disgraced congressman who was allegedly caught with a lot of money in his uh, refrigerator. Sure. Um, the party's been very antsy about how it deals with them. Where Republicans, when there were congressmen in trouble, they seem to fire them and ask questions later. Um, well, it, how, how much of an issue or a weight or an albatross is Jefferson going to be? I think Jefferson is probably going to be, you know, I'm going to put my other hat and crisis communications back on here now and talk about what they need to do to sort of mitigate that, that recurring and, and, frankly, enveloping problem that it could be. Uh, Jefferson's uh, position now on small business uh, in the subcommittee is, uh, is a demotion for sure. Uh, and Nancy Pelosi did what she needed to do to make certain that her message was sent that ethics or is a strong, uh, strong issue with her. However, uh, West Virginia Congressman Mollahan, who is accused and being investigated by the FBI on a lot of uh, issues related to uh, him getting rich over some earmarks that he made, that issue is still out there. And they made him a chairman of the subcommittee that, that oversees the FBI's budget, the FBI that's investigating. So right. that is a little bit of a problem with ethics that she's going to have to straighten out as well. And remember, the voters are watching all of this stuff. Indeed, so are we. Jackson, thank you very much. Jackson Bain in Washington. You're welcome. Well, as he pointed out, a lot of talk about bipartisanship today as Nancy Pelosi officially became the Speaker of the House of Representatives. But the Democrats' 100-hour agenda will apparently exclude the GOP altogether.